We're going to do a, a child dedication, and I just want to kind of set it up with this, just kind of giving us just kind of some background from the scripture. Um, throughout the Bible, God places a high priority on children. All right, this won't be up on the screens. Psalm 127, verse 3, it says, Children are a heritage from the Lord, offspring, a reward from him. Deuteronomy 11, it tells us that in everything we do, whether we're walking along the road or at home, we sit down, we get up, we rise, whatever we do, we're to be teaching our kids about God and the things of God and his, his kingdom. Verse we looked at earlier in Luke 18, Jesus said, let the little children come to me for such belong to the kingdom of God. Now, two key examples of dedication we see in scriptures. One is in the Old Testament in, in 1 Samuel where, where um, Hannah, this, this gal Hannah, she's barren and she goes to the temple and she's just pouring out her heart to God and she's asking God to, um, she's there you know, just praying that God would open her womb and, and that if God gave her a son, she would commit him to the service of the Lord all the days of his life. And God opened her womb, and she gave birth to Samuel. And after he was weaned, she took him there to the place of worship and, and just committed him. And he grew up there and, and just became a great prophet of God, as we know as, as Samuel the prophet. The other one we see in the New Testament, which is a, it was part of the, the Jewish custom in their faith, was after this time of purification, Mary and Joseph, they took Jesus to the temple to present him to the Lord, all right, dedicating him to the Lord. And later in Luke, it says that Jesus grew in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with man. All right, so Mary and Joseph, they invested in, in Jesus and raising him up. So in response to what the scriptures say, we find it important to do um, child dedications where, where parents have the opportunity to do the same, just present their children before the church, before God and the church. And so a child dedication is recognizing that our children are a gift from God and committing to set a godly example for them that they might have opportunity to come to a personal decision to follow Christ at an early age. That's our desire. That's what we're after, that we can pass on a legacy to our kids. So with that, I'm going to have and Bria, if you just want to come on up here with um, your little girl, Bree Ann, Allison, Teresa, Siggers, if you just want to come on up here. And I don't know how this is going to sound, but I'm going to put a face shield on here. You can step on up here if you want. Everybody wants to see you and your beautiful little girl. Isn't she beautiful? All right. So I'm just going to ask you, Umbria, do you commit to care for and raise your child in a God-honoring way with the intention that she will commit her life to Jesus and become a follower of him? You will commit to this by praying for her regularly, teaching her about Jesus and God's eternal principles from the Bible, faithfully attending church with her, and modeling a Christ's life life at work and home um, and as a parent. If you are willing to make that commitment, say, I do. I do. All right. If we could just have her support system, you could just stand up. And her grandmother, where's your grandmother? Renee. All right. So glad to have you here. This is her support system. All right. And I just want to address them and just the rest of the church because this is our responsibility. So as a church and as a support system, um, friends and family around her, um, do you commit to support and encourage and care for her and her child um, by being a sp their spiritual family, modeling through our collective life what it means to be a Christian, walking beside her um, as her little girl grows in the spiritual knowledge and understanding? If so, would you say we do? We do. All right, let's just take a moment and pray over Bria and her beautiful little girl, Brianne, right? Oh, Lord Jesus, we just come right now. And we just pray for this precious little life, this precious little girl. And God, we just pray that you would just surround her with your angels, God, and just protect her as she just grows and takes her very first steps. You would just be there to protect her. God, that she would know from an early age that you love her, you are faithful, you are a loving God, that you poured out your life on a cross for her. And God, I just pray that this little girl would just be a fire starter for you and for your kingdom. 
God, that you would just, just bless her and encourage her and just help her to be a world changer for you. And just, just bless Ambria as she just raises her and all the, the challenges that she may face as, as a mom, um, you know, just moving forward, God. But you would give her everything she needs to provide and bless her little girl. We ask the blessings of your kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God bless you.